Are you seeing all this new construction homes like DR Horton going up and Rice Hope and wondering, how is that affecting my home price? Hey guys, Patrick Don needs to be Realty, part of the Johnson Group here in beautiful Rice Hope, part of Port Wentworth. And I know you guys see a lot of homes going up with DR Horton over there, the new construction going on. And I'm sure you're wondering, how is that affecting my home prices? So I'm going to go over all the stats for the ones that are active, active contingent, under contract, and sold so you know what's going on. And then after that, I got Chris Whipper from the Home Inspection Company, um, who was doing a home inspection for me over there on Lakeside. And while he was doing the home inspection, I was just asking him questions about how the home inspection process works, what he's looking for, so you guys can kind of understand why home inspections are so important. Another thing I don't want to forget, and um, I just want to bring it up in the beginning of the video, is that we got this Easter egg hunt going on March 30th, and Marie Green, she's doing a lot of work towards this, and I just want to thank her for all her efforts. Um, I'm going to be handing out flyers, passing them out to the neighborhood so you guys know what we're doing, but we're going to have a 360 booth. I think that was uh, Monique Simpson Bostic. She is donating a 360 photo booth so that you can see yourself from 360 I, it's pretty cool i've seen him before um we got kendall blunt he's he's donating stuff he's a pressure washer guy in our neighborhood we also got um brandy I, if i mispronounce your name i'm so sorry brandy herbron um she's a real estate agent and she's she's also contributing to this event so a lot of people are contributing to the event trying to get it off the ground and if you are a business owner and you live in rice hope Hey, help us make this thing bigger. I mean, I'm all about, let's let's get it on. Because right now we got scheduled Kona Ice Free for all the kids. We got Easter eggs. We got the Easter Bunny. We got a photographer that's coming out. Um, anything you could provide, if you are a business owner in this neighborhood, come on. Let's let's get this thing popping. Let's see how big we can get it. Love to get it. I don't care if you're a realtor or not. I'm a realtor, but we live in this neighborhood. Let's make it as great as possible. So, Come on out, March 30th. Let's try to get this thing as big as possible, and then maybe we can get more businesses involved. Um, I'd like to do other activities in the neighborhood. So if you guys have any uh, neighborhood activities you guys want to do, comment down below. Let's try to get something going. I'd love to do something like every quarter. But um, let's just go over the stats and uh, just enough about the Easter egg hunt. But let's go over the stats so you know what's going on. All right, now we're going to go through the uh, neighborhood. We're going to talk about active homes on the market right now first. Uh, the reason I'm only going to go over the two resale properties. All There's 20 homes that are on the market active right now. 18 of them are new construction homes for DR Horton. So I'm only going to go over the two that are active. Um, as you can see, this thing right here, these pins got a whole bunch of... Um, homes in there from DR Horton. So we're not going to go through that. Uh, we're going to go over the, the the two that are active in the market. So I'm going to go over um, this one first. This is 303 Lakeside Boulevard. All right. I've been in this home. This is a very nice home. This is a four bedrooms, three and a half bath home um, with 3,290 square feet offered at $419,000. Um, and this is listed by Scott W. Fader from Joseph Walter Realty. Okay. And let's go up here and look at the pictures. Okay. So like I said, I've been to this home. So I want to tell you, this home is massive. Okay. You know, the 3,000 square, over 3,000 square feet. I mean, it's really well represented here. Um, let's just go look at that. Look at that. As you know, back behind her is where the D.R. Horton homes are um, popping. Um, but there's a four-year area right there. Looks like wood floors. Nice. I like the rounded archways I got over there to that bar area. Um, that's pretty cool. We got a little piano. Um, living room's large, like I said, fireplace right there. I've been in there. It's 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 a pretty pretty big big home. Uh, kitchen, great granite countertops. As you see, there's a lot of space. Stainless steel appliances. Um, open wide open concept into the living room. So I like that and good for entertaining. Okay, and then look at that. Double tray ceilings. I love that. And that's in the dining room area. You come up in this bonus room area. Like I said, this one is big. It's really big. Like it's almost as big as the living room downstairs. So and you see it's really large. All right. And this is from a couple angles. This is the primary bedroom. Um, this is another room. Or that's not the primary bedroom. This is the primary bedroom. Sorry. Yeah, here's the primary bedroom. You can fit a four-poster bed in there. Carpeted on the inside, as you can see um and then there's the the back patio like i said looking at dr horton building homes right now um but that won't be forever but yeah so beautiful home like i said i've been inside if you guys want to go see it, give me a call i can help you out with that uh no problem 
Um, let's go to the other one that is not new construction. Oops. Yeah. So let's go here. This is a townhome. And I've taken you guys through one of these townhomes before off of Mossy Oak Cove. Uh, this is actually listed by the same people. Well, actually, I think actually this is listed by somebody else. But this is Rawls Realty, Regina L. Wages. Um, Rawls Realty, owned by Rodney Rawls. Awesome guy. I love him. He's amazing. Uh, but this is 13 Oak Cove, or 13 Mossy Oak Cove. Um, this is the lakeside area. Um, this is going to be a townhome. Um, the three bedrooms, two and a half bath is 1,723 square feet. Um, we have seen one of these before, but I'm going to go through them really quickly just so you can see it. Pretty large home for a townhome. I mean, it was at 309900 and they reduced it to 299900 So still in the market. End unit, which is good. All right, as you see right there, front. There's 48, but you, I don't know if you recognize this pattern, but you know, there's your granite countertops, your laminate flooring, wide open to the living room right there. Um, no appliances, as you can see, they got subway backsplash right there. All right, and then let's go upstairs. Where's it at? Okay, here's the primary bedroom. You see tray ceilings right there, large size. Okay, and then it goes into their bathroom right there. I'm not gonna go through the whole home, but. You see that granite countertop, tub, separate, shower separate, standing shower. So that's awesome. So, yeah, Mossy Oak Cove, like I said, this is on Lakeside. Pretty good area. Um, I like it over there, actually. But, yeah, there you go. All right, so let's go over the CMA, which I did. So, like I said, there are 20 active homes on the market right now. Um, if you look at the median home sales price, you're going to talk about $316,190. Um, uh, median list price is $227.14 per square foot. Now, this is going to be your Zestimate number. So if you live in the neighborhood, for those that are active right now, uh, take 227 times your square foot, and you'll get a bar parker where you're at. If you want any, if you want me to do a CMA for you, I have no problem doing that. I do this all the time. It's not a big deal. All right. So like I said, 20 homes active on the market right now. Two of them are resales. The other are Dior Horton Homes. If you go look at the active contingent, we've got three active contingent with the um, the median home sales price is two ninety nine nine or two two ninety nine, and then the price per square foot one hundred seventy eight dollars and twenty three cents. If you look at the sold, now this one's important because these are actually sold. Like the act, when you talk about active contingent and under contract, we really don't know what they contracted the home for. So it could be the the numbers are a little wonky with those, but when it's sold definitively know what the home sold for so these are really the true numbers i would go after if you're looking to price your home because these are already sold this is what the public has told us the homes in our neighborhood are worth so let's look at that real quick sold we had 17 sold okay the median home sales price was 324 900 um medium price per square foot was 161.64 okay and the actually the average sold price was above list price as you can see here 326 sold 324 was the median so it actually sold more than that um and then the days on market was 47 days so 47 days on the market okay we got a 21 under contract homes so like a lot of homes are under contract but i would say like most of them are dr horton you know homes so um if you have any questions about this you know, give me a call. Like I said, I can do a CMA for you. No problem. Um, you know, I, like I said, I do it all the time. So, you know, you just give me a call. You want to know what the price of your home is in the neighborhood. I will send you a CMA. And if you want to get a more definitive answer, I just come to your home. We can talk about what the upgrades you've done, what you got that others don't. And then that way we can find your house price for you. And if you want to move, great. If you don't, no problem. It doesn't bother me. I'll give you a, I'll give you a home. Uh, I'll give you a CMA. You don't have to sell your home with me. Um, but just so you know, but let's go on to Chris Whipper and the home inspection part of this video. Hey guys, I have HP Realty, part of the Johnson Group. And today I'm doing a um, home inspection for my clients. They're in New York. They can't be here. So I'm standing in for them. We got Chris Whipper in there. He's doing a pre-drywall inspection on a DR Horton home in Port Wentworth, Georgia. Um, I'm just gonna ask him some questions. What is he looking for? What are the things you should be, uh, why a home, a home inspector is important? Um, so we're gonna go check this out and uh, let's see how it goes. So let's go see what uh, Chris is doing up in here. 
All right, here's the inside. You got the bones going on, low AC. I love seeing it here like this because you get to see all the AC and the wiring and all that stuff. So, um, Chris, let me ask you something. What's, what, what do you think is, why do you think it's important to get a home inspection on a brand new construction home? Um, my name is Christopher, by the way, home inspection company. So it's important to get inspection on a new build. There's, they're built by humans. You know what I mean? And, yeah. And humans make mistakes. Uh, Absolutely. There's, there's only so much quality checking and control that can that can be done. Um, you know, it's always good to get a second pair of eyes on things. But you know, we catch things that that even the code inspectors, you know, from the city and the county don't don't catch or kind of maybe let squeak through a little bit. Uh, so it's just always good to have an extra set of eyes um, on the project for you. Right, 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 right. So let me ask you, so when you're looking at pre-wall, pre-drywall inspection, what are you looking for at this moment for my clients? So, I mean, I hate to make it sound so basic, but we're pretty much just making sure everything is where it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. As far as, you know, your, your HVAC supplies and returns, uh, your plumbing, you know, drains and vents, electrical, making sure you have the appropriate amount of receptacles in it, in the bedrooms and hallways and spaces and such. Making sure that nothing's missing or broken. Right. Like we already found one of the, you know, the window in the dining area has got, got cracks in it. Right, 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 right. And they, they fix it. The good thing about D.L. Horton, they'll fix all this stuff. That's why the, the inspection is important to get it, you know, pre-drywall or even after the drywall. Now, I know, well, your price is actually really reasonable for this pre-drywall inspection. Are you, did you talk to my clients about doing it after the drywall was in? Uh, I didn't get that far yet, but obviously that's an option, you know, and, um, you know, I can provide a little discount for, for, for doing both of them as well. So. Nice, nice, and nice, yeah, nice. Things like the window, I mean, that's, that's that that movable sash so I mean that can be replaced anytime even after the house is finished but but yeah it's better to catch things sooner especially pre-drywall if we can find something that that either should be there that's not or that's in the wrong place you know we can get it moved or or installed before they put that finished. properly yeah 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 that's great that's great so look Chris let me ask you something during your time as a home inspector what what is the craziest thing you've ever seen See, well, recently I had one one crazy thing in the laundry room, uh, and it was a new build, but they already had drywall, so it was finished, you know, pre pre closing walkthrough. Uh, there was no dryer vent. Oh, no, serious? Yeah, in the laundry room. It's just a the washer, you know, supply and drain, and all that, and nothing for the dryer. So, I know they don't make ventless dryers really, so you gotta have. You know, <laughs> right, right, right. But, but the vent stack was there in the attic; it just wasn't cut out in the, in the wall. But I mean, it's better to catch it now than that. Absolutely. Right? Then you close and no one sees it, and then you yeah, yeah. So saving time and convenience, right? Yeah, that's awesome. No, that's that's great. That's great. So let me ask you something, Chris. What is your um, what is your price point for? A, say you're not doing a new construction home. Say you're doing a resale home. What is your price for um, doing a, a home? Yeah. So uh, anything that's fifteen hundred square feet or less, it's a base rate of three hundred twenty-five dollars. Okay. And then it goes up from there depending on the size of the house. Um, I also do well water. Testing okay. For when it's required for, for you know, VA or FHA, uh, that runs two seventy five. And I do mold testing as well. Okay. So full air samples um, with my mold, you know, mold machine. Uh, and I can do some surface swabs as well. So if anybody has questions about, hey, I got some growth in my house, you know, or I got this weird musty spell after my toilet overflow or something like that, you know, I can come in and check it out for you. How fast does it take to get those tests back? Uh, the wall water test is two days, uh, and then the mold test I get back the next day. Oh wow! Okay, okay. So it's not you know if you'll know what's going on, and then when we're when we're doing the uh, amendment to address concerns, that all can be handled right there on that moment. So, and so, what, what do you provide the client so they know what happened with the home inspection? So I, I provide a very very detailed report. It's going to have a lot of photos on there. I take a lot of photos just for reference, mm -hmm. so you can see what is supposed to be there and what is there. Especially if it comes time to close, and it's like, hey, we negotiated for this to stay. And then no one has proof that it was there. I got proof. Right. The inspection report's going to show. Right, right, right. right. So that's an added thing too. But um, so I, there's like a minimum of 120 photos in your report. I'm going to show you everything. Uh, so it's very detailed. And then that report comes out the same day as well. You don't, you don't have to wait till the next day. Nice. Well, that's really friendly for the real estate agents when they're trying to get their deals done, right? And let me, let me ask you a question, Chris. How do you think your real estate experience as a realtor helps you as a home inspector? Um, so experience, not only as a realtor, but right after high school, um, 
I was an electrician for about six years. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm very familiar with the construction process, um, so which kind of helps me know what to look for from these pre-drywall you know, inspections as well. But with real estate, I mean, it just it helps so much because I know the ins and outs of the deal as well. Right. You, know, you get these agents where they say, "Well, I don't want a deal killer report." Well, I'm, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm I'm here to represent the house. Right, and the so buyers. The house, right, right, yeah. The buyer and their, their biggest purchase of their life. So, if there's something wrong with the home, like I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know. I'm not gonna say, "Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a world ender." Right, like I'll tell you some realistic expectations, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. reasonable ways that this can be addressed. Right, so everybody's not not, not freaking out and, and, and ending the deal. But I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, so how do let, let me ask you? So, how do you do? You guys guarantee your work? Like, is there like some kind of guarantee if if later on something was found out that was missed? Do you guys do anything about that? Yeah, in our pre, pre inspection agreement, it does address that. Um, and usually, there's like a one year kind of statute of limitations. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but it is a limited visual inspection. Right. Right. Only if things that we're able to access at that time. Right. right. So like let's, let's say just a regular home inspection. You know, if um, if they've got a bunch of living room furniture in the way and I can't get to, you know, a receptacle behind it, mm -hmm. like I'm not responsible for moving the furniture. Right, 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 right. So if it comes back later and it says, well, this house didn't work, you know, I didn't get to it. Right, right, so right. I'm right. trying to say that's a cop out because I get to every single thing I can. Right. You know, I'm a little guy. I'll squeeze into tight attics. And <laughs> underneath the crawl spaces that no one wants to go into, I'll get there. Right, but so, yeah, it's just, you know, it's a limited inspection, so... What would you say the hardest thing you do is? Is it going in crawl spaces? It's probably crawl spaces. Yeah. Yeah, because some of those accesses, even though even though they're supposed to be a certain size to get you in, they're, they're smaller. But right. I got to go in anyways, you know, if I can fit. So yeah, I, I put the whole, you know, uh, dust, you know, the whole respirator mask, right? And goggles and yeah. the lamp, and I got my little stick for chasing critters away. And Ooh, in the savanna heat, that must be brutal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they serve crawl spaces, right? So, uh, critters and all that kind of stuff, I would imagine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I bet. There might be. Wow, wow, wow. That's cool. That's cool. All right, well, I'm going to let you get back to your inspection. There's a cracked window he's talking about. He found in the pre inspection. So, like you said, you got fixed. Um, before they even close your home, so you ain't got to worry about it. And there's another spot he saw. And like, she's looking at all this stuff. So this is a ton of, you know, ton of work looking at all these things. But look up here. So they got these um, hurricane tie downs, right? So that um, if a hurricane does come, and it's not, you know, pretty that prevalent here in Port Wentworth, but I mean, we do get a lot of wind. Um, that plate is not flat. So it's causing this to be not as tight as it should be. So they're going to be able to fix that. They know now. That one's flat, as you can see, and this one is taut. So, yeah, your your, your house won't blow away with Dr. Horton because they got all these uh, hurricane tie downs. So it's cool to see it like before you uh, put the drywall on, because obviously once the drywall is in, <laughs> you're not going to get it. My my buddy uh, Tommy Stanford always says like, um, your house would be the only one left um, after there uh, if a hurricane came through. So it's pretty cool. But yeah kind of like how the sausage is made, right? Do you really want to know how the sausage is made? Right, because I used to make sausage, actually I was a meat cutter um, in New Carlisle, Indiana as a teenager. And uh, I used to make a ton of sausage. Pullet sausage, um, what are they? All, all the sausages, we had, they, they had a huge variety now, it's pretty cool, so it was called Nick's Handy Super. Um, great place, a lot of good times, I remember. Um, but making sausage was not the funnest. <laughs> but yeah. No, but this is kind of like where it starts, you know what I'm saying? Like, these are kind of like the things you don't get to see very often. So I kind of want to give you, give you a sneak peek of how it happens in the construction, a new construction arena at DR Horton. Um, like I said, DR Horton's great. The, the good thing, another good thing about DR Horton is that um, after the first month that you move in and after you close, um, and you see maybe some nail pops coming out of the drywall or there's cracking in the uh, um, drywall tape or something like that, they'll fix that up at the first month. And then you get another walkthrough after a year um, where they come fix it all again. And then you should have a perfect home by then because you know houses settle. 
um, and when they settle, the um, those things can happen. So um, the horn's got you protected when it comes to that. It's called a 210 warranty. So this water right here is to seal the shower to the ground. Um, I think the tub, let me go over here. I'm gonna walk through the, the toilet area, walk through this wall and come over here and show you the tub. They got seated as well. Um, as you can see, they got all that water in there just to keep, to, to get this cup, tub seated so that it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. So Chris, you're up there on the roof. I saw that dangerous, right? Dangerous. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, yeah. So what are you looking for when you go up on the roof? So um, I check the ridge vents to make sure they're all you know intact and installed properly. Uh, make sure there's no exposed nail heads. Make sure all the shingles are laying flat. Nothing's curled up already. Uh, make sure there's no damage. Mm -hmm. Brand new house, but we get, we get storms and stuff flying through the air. You never know. Right, Plus, right. Work, workers working up there, we be dropping tools and stuff like that. So just make sure no, no shingles are damaged. Uh, and then. When I'm down on the ground checking the drip edge, make sure it's got a drip edge installed. Right. Properly. That, that ensures that you know, your shingles aren't, aren't just kind of falling over. It ensures that everything just kind of drips up. So I want to thank Chris Whipper for walking through the home with me, doing the pre drywall inspection with my, uh, for my clients, uh, kind of explaining what he's looking at. Um, and I think with uh, Chris's real estate experience, it really helps the deals out because he knows what we're looking for in the reports, makes it very easy for us to find anything we need to do to the amendment address concerns. You want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, uh, like I said, I mean, you know, oftentimes if the buyer's there, they're going to ask me, hey, you know, what's what's the big stuff? What's, what's the little stuff? You know what I mean? So I right. kind of got it through that. Yeah. Hey, hey, this is something you might want to start budgeting for, or, you know, this is something you can just have a handyman come in and fix, or if you're handy yourself. Right, right. Well, I want to thank Chris. Thank you so much for uh, watching, guys, and I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya.